Using this application as an example, this video will cover how to calibrate our sensors and what calibrating the sensor does internally. We will focus mainly on the two-point calibration, which is our most common calibration method and works for almost all applications. For this application, we will be calibrating a sensor to detect when a box passes by. Here, we have a through-beam sensor with the transmitter pointed at a receiver. And like most sensors, it has an output light and a set button. To perform a two-point calibration, put the target in front of the sensor and briefly tap the set button. Then, remove the target from the view of the sensor and briefly tap the set button again. Now the sensor is calibrated to detect this box. Now that we understand how to perform a two-point calibration, let's talk about how this calibration works. Most sensors will show a live value, which is this 1000 value here. Since this is a light intensity sensor, this value indicates how much light the sensor is receiving. When the box blocks the light, the live value drops to zero because no light is making it to the receiver. Then once the box has passed by the sensor, the live value jumps back up to 1000 because the sensor is once again receiving light from the transmitter. To perform a two-point calibration, tap the set button once with the target present and once with the target absent. When we tap the set button with the target present here, the live value is zero. The sensor will internally note that the set button was pressed at this live value of zero. Then when the set button is pressed with the target absent, the live value is 1000. The sensor will set the set point to be right in the middle of these two values, which is 500. The set point is a trigger point where in this case, the output turns on when the live value drops below 500 and will turn off when the live value goes above 500. Switching gears to distance-based lasers, here we see that the live value of the sensor, which is the distance, is 300 millimeters away from the conveyor belt. When the box passes through, the live value changes to 250 millimeters. The two-point calibration is also applicable and will work for most applications. Just like the two-point calibration with the through beam, tap the set button with the target in front of the sensor. The sensor will note what the live value is, which is 250 millimeters. Then tap set again when the part is not in front of the sensor, which is at a distance of 300 millimeters. The set point will be placed in the middle of these two distance values, making it 275 millimeters. In this application, the sensor will trigger when it detects anything closer than 275 millimeters, and the output will turn off when further than 275 millimeters. We should now understand how to perform a two point calibration, what a set point is, and what's happening to the set point when a two point calibration is performed. The two point calibration works for most applications, but our sensors also have other calibration methods for different scenarios. Please refer to your specific sensor manual for other calibration methods.